sharing my story of hope at Churchill Downs. The story about a boy in such a way to inspire others because let me tell you this opioid problem is not going away and there's a lot of people who are in a lot of pain a lot of families just ripped apart and you know i had this dream of sharing my story through it but i realized very quickly that god's plan for me is far bigger than my dreams could have ever been like just last week andy Bashir, out of nowhere is speaking at an event he uses my story as the example of what it's like to go through recovery and have success and you know, this this whole week I've been I've been in private jets and at foreign cars shooting music videos and like you guys I'm just living my dream and I'm here to share that story with you in the hopes that we may connect uh, through our pain and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it so it's just let me talk to you I just need a minute I'm gonna tell you about a boy who was never gonna be shit he grew up addicted and had no siblings but still everything he had he had to share it with mental illness. You see, his mother had it, and it was just them. It's like it was them against the world and them against the system. They were caught up in a trap that was designed to keep the slave in prison. Let me talk to you. Are you even paying attention? I said they were caught up in a trap designed to keep a slave in prison. That's the 13th Amendment. They say the sky's the limit. The sky's not the limit. I mean... Who you kidding him? That was just a gimmick. How somebody touched the sky when he can't even touch the ceiling of the trailer that he lived in. It was broken down and lived in. She went to work. He was alone. No one to care about how he's feeling. And his mama was depressed, so he knew she wouldn't try to hear it. Every day she says she want to die. She keep on begging God to end it. And he's just hiding in his room and acts like he don't even hear it. He wished to go away, but he keeps coming back to visit. He'd hear her crying on the phone, keep saying the word evicted. He didn't know what that meant. But he knew it would change how he was living. Look, he was only nine, but in his mind, he had to fix it. And he had heard mention of God, but it was faint and only whispers. And he thought, if his father didn't want him, then how's the one in heaven different? Yeah, the struggle's real, I know. I watched him live it. This story is for anyone who's been caught up in that system or who's ever been to sleep with no heat, no lights, cold nights. I'm talking nothing but heat from a stovepipe. But this about the boy and his mama, they were so tight. They had a trauma bond, and he would seek that out his whole life. She persevered, never even cared what kind of purse she wear. She lived for him, but looking at him, she couldn't help but feel all the pain in her heart his dad had left her there. She never left from there. When she wasn't crying about a man, then she was crying over late bills, and he was 13 when he sold his first pain pill. Was the same still. Didn't change nothing. She went to work more, and he would stay blunted. She moved a man in. The boy would take from him. He'd sell his weed at school. He loved to make money. They went from state-funded to shrimp and steak money. She knew what he was doing, but she wouldn't say nothing. Listen, she was never scared with the boy. She was afraid of him. She'd find guns and drugs and she would pray for him. But it was too late for him. There was no turning back. Because he would spend 20 and get 100 back. He fell in love with that. He couldn't get enough of it. By high school, you could get anything you want from him. Still wasn't enough for him. Was never enough for him. It wasn't the drugs. It was what they'd done for him. And his mother told him it wouldn't last, that they would come for him. they come for him. They had guns drawn, talking about, get down on the ground for him. They found more than enough. He would go down for it, but they'd hold it down for him, right? I mean, he had connections until his girl started messing with his best friend. Then his next friend. Then his next friend. Yeah. He began to question everything these rappers ever said, because shit was real different. His definition in there is of what was real different. He started to feel different. He looked around and realized that no one was here with him. There was nobody down the ride. Nobody sitting in this cell with him. The hell with him. This wouldn't be the end of his story. Victory over hardship. He's built for it. He killed for it. Another chance to rewrite his story. So he grabbed a pen. He wrote the script for it. He had a gift for it. It was something like a a sixth sense. 
He packed his bags, man, and he ain't seen a pen since. That sentence did exactly what it was supposed to do. He swallowed pride and did what people that are sober do. He told the truth, trusted God, and cleaned his mess up. They told him if he kept going, it would be like he never even messed up. Within a couple years, the boy was blessed up. He'd use his story to help others who had messed up. As a matter of fact, the rumor has it that he's still at it. He makes music. They say it helps heal addicts. He was real bad once. He's helping them through real battles. Real battles that most know nothing about. So that's the story of a boy. And of course, there's more to it. And maybe next time, James, we'll get more into it. But there's a moral to it. Something for you to think on. You should think on. Thank you all so much. There's a, yeah, there's a card on your table. If anybody wants to follow that story or connect, you can scan that, tap it, or we can be connected on social media. Thank you all so Dollar much. Dollar Green, man. Look, I just need a minute to tell you about a boy who was never gonna be shit. Grew up addicted, he ain't have no siblings. Still, everything he had, he had to share with mental illness. His mama had it. It was just them, them against the world, and them against the system. They were caught up in a trap designed to keep a slave in prison. The sky is the limit. The sky is not the limit. I mean.